to hear some amazing sound bites coming up in this next set. PTP with Gibbous going up against FX's own Austin. In losers quarters. Now traditionally, we have seen this swing in Austin's favor, but as of recent, uh, Austin hasn't been doing too hot at the shockwaves. Yeah. Um, we might see this be the shockwave where he turns it all around, just plows through Gibbous as per the huge and makes a <laughs> tear. Uh, or maybe Gibbous will, uh, you know, be a mental fortress. It's, it's crazy because Austin was seated fifth tonight. Right. Which it's it's weird not seeing him at least placed or seated top three. Right. Uh, and you know, he has had a couple unfortunate shockwaves where he's run into some unfortunate matchups and maybe just had some bad days. But today it looks like he is out to play. Uh, yeah. Currently though, Gibbous on the offensive. Quick to reverse the situation though with Austin. These players can consistently will go back and forth. No matter who wins, it's always very close and down to the wire. As we're already seeing, percent's fairly close, but there, using the roll-on option, not realizing the forward hitbox of that down smash as well, but Gibbous gonna keep living. 135% on himself though, so he's a perfect percent for that back throw. Awesome. Oh, wow, if he's in it a little bit further, that would've gotten him a lot of stage. Right. Waits for the air dodge, but Austin air dodges off stage, so it's safe. But coming back on with the up air is not. Can we just call those YOLO up smashes now? I, I, I feel like Gibbous up smashes. I feel like there's a layer beyond the YOLO up smash. I, I love it. They always hit, but quick to answer back as Austin gets that uh, back throw from across the stage. Gives us that tons of high percents there. All right. Okay. Austin finding his footing with that up air is going to get some combos. <gasps> oh my god, oh he my aimed gosh. directly at Gibbous' recovery. Austin's mad. Uh, he's a mad man. Sickening. Getting a lot of pressure, lots of damage. Going for these PK Thunders. Got a lot of damage on Gibbous just on this one edge guard, pulling him up to 85%. It's going to be a hard road to climb uh, in order to retort. Yeah, this is really just a big grab game, and Austin just found his grabs and got so much out of them. Now, give us in the air with these PK Thunders. Oh, puts the grab in the wrong direction, and he actually goes for the back air. Not worrying about staling that move, he has Gibbous stuck in this chain, and Gibbous hasn't been able to answer back really at all the second stuck. Finally, some hits, but he's this out of the percent where the up air connects. Right, this rage is making his up throw combos not too potent, and that back throw definitely gonna seal it. Yeah, man. What a controlling first game from Austin. I think we're still in the part of the bracket where we are doing a two or a best of three. So there's one more game that Gibbous or gets to adapt. Maybe I don't think he's gonna do the change here. Very important. He did. Last week we saw him actually try out the Mewtwo for the first time in a long time. I remember oh really? Yeah. And it was uh it, there was some unfortunate happenstances. Uh, I wouldn't have been surprised to see the Mewtwo come out again if he really wanted to try it, but I think he wants to put faith in some of his other characters like Lucario where he uh, you know, he, he legitimately secondaries at this point, this yeah. character. I, so it's, honestly, I feel like this is really risky, especially because of the kill potential that Ness has at, you know, above 80 and 90, where Lucario starts to shine the most. You know, absolutely, I agree, but at this point, Gibbous has given the Greninja a go so many times, and it's not worked out in his favor, I don't blame him for trying something new. Getting the footstool down air conversion right there, uh, is able to get some stuff started. He's had some decent conversions so far to rack up some damage, and he doesn't have much aura on himself to... Well, now he does. Yeah. Man, just getting back down from these PK Thunders is so difficult, especially when you don't have, uh, you know, that, that Shadow Sneak, that Hydro Pump option that's just safe on landing. That uh, He doesn't want to be using that extreme speed to get back to the stage. As you see, it gives him lots of landing lag and time for punish. And now Gibbous is already getting to these percents where that back throw is such a huge factor that he needs to watch out for. Taking himself back, playing this projectile game that we see him play with Greninja time and time again. I love the spacing there for the forward air. Catches that up air that Austin's falling down to the stage with. All right. Gibbous doing a job of controlling center. Austin finds his way in with that neutral air away from the aura sphere as well. What, what a dangerous neutral air to throw out. Catching him, but not quite, uh, you know, not quite hard enough on that catch. Uh, oh, oh my, my God. gosh, that was such a good aura sphere. Realizing that Austin was searching for that edge or that, that ledge option. And then another one to take out the stuck. 
high percents, high rates. This is such a good spot for Lucario to be in, especially because of how much he gets at early percent with all of this rage and aura. But that back throw, not going to take this up. Great DI from Gibbous. Still an opportunity here for him, but puts himself in the end leg, and that one's probably going to do it. Yeah, just barely. Battlefield has huge blast zones, but when you're that high of a percent, uh, Ness really doesn't care. <laughs> exactly. Now, we see these grab combos. Drops really low. Doesn't want to get hit by anything. Not any of these PK Thunders, not these down smashes. And is looking for these low percent combos that give us this really, really consistent at landing. All right, so just double forwarder to get some space. Tries to go for a back air to send Austin off the stage, but Austin has just been so good at uh, getting around these options. Oh, I love that! Brought him up with the PK Thunder and immediately got that down air. And then Gibbous is able to get back on the stage with no lag on himself. Ooh, again, landing with lag here, but Austin was too far away to get a good punish, but he does punish the roll afterwards. With this aura, though, Gibbous could turn everything around right now! And that's the point where he gets the confirm, gets the game, sends him into a game three, and now I'm thinking there may be a possible switch coming in from Gibbous. He felt really good about that game, and you talked about the Mewtwo. I don't think he's going to go back to Greninja, but if he's I don't not think going Mewtwo, I feel like... I think we're going to say the Lucario. I again. mean, I could see I it, but that was a really close game. Yeah, for sure. That I, A lot of Lucario games are inherently close. I think we'll see either Greninja or stick with Lucario. I think uh, you don't think he's gonna go through the Mewtwo. The way Gavis's brain works after the last game with the Mewtwo, I don't think he wants to try it again. Good. I believe he SD'd pretty early and like had some rough stuff. And even though it was like even-ish, uh, I don't think that he would uh, go back after a non-convincing result. Well, we see him picking this Lucario. See him going back, and he gets a flat stage, which honestly. Helps out Gibbous so much. He gets to play that ledge game. Not as good as he can on those, you know, flat walled stages, but may give him some more. We have Austin adding on the rage now. Okay, gonna be able to punish that back air. Gets a little bit of damage and a re-grab, but goes for the air dodge punish. Right. I love the spacing from Gibbous especially. He's been able to keep himself where he doesn't get punished when he falls down with these Verse or spears or with these back airs. Okay, give us doing a good job spacing out using that Oris Oh my and god. Right there gets the force press. That's the Twice. second time this set that he's done that to anti air against Austin. Now he's got a lot of rays. Austin with these high percents. The back air is not gonna kill him just yet, but the aura spear will. What a throw. I mean, Gibbs has done a great job of sitting back at ranges where he can use that to catch landings, but uh, catching your opponent that far off stage. That's, that's glorious. Yeah, definitely. Okay, back air from Austin is going to get him some PK Thunders. All right, I love the downer there. Finally was able to time that to where he's not going to get hit by a PK Thunder. And now look at this aggression from Gibbous. Looking for a back air, but over extending just a little bit. And Austin's quick to take up that health. Heals back to full. I didn't know he could cling out of extreme speed. Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting That's move. it. But yeah, I didn't. You, I, can you do that with Greninja too? Uh, not. Not for sure. I, I don't, don't know. think so. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, cool. Anyway, now with no aura, no rage, Gibbous is not going to be able to get as much off of these low percent combos, and Ness is going to have a field day. Um, so we'll see if Gibbous is able to get much started. All right, gets a, little, a few hits here and there. He needs to watch out for these PK fires. The second time he got caught in one, Austin hasn't been able to capitalize too much, but if he gets one more, he may see a lot of damage coming out on his end. He's got to be careful the way he goes for these uh, upwards combos, because when he misses Austin, that's a free opportunity for him to try to retort with the up air. He just narrowly avoided the last one from Austin, but it could be huge if he uh, falls into another one. Exactly. Has to go for a back air, but neutral is a bit quicker. Austin been able to answer back more often than not. Gets hit by the extreme speed Catches and lands jump. right into the, the back air. Now the stage is all Gibbous. Doesn't go for an Ezgar. He's going to play this patiently. Realizes that and this again. is the possible last game for him. <gasps> wow. wow. And the pop off from Gibbous finally. It's been a long time. He has defeated this demon before, but it's it's been quite a while since he's taken a set off of Austin yet again. Uh, punishing all the lag from that thunder. Yeah, what a way to get around it too, right? That's the first time he's been able to just completely dodge the PK thunder there and then found the perfect opportunity to punish, had just the right amount of rage to get that kill when he needed. And man, like you said, finally taking out his demon that had 
been his, you know, the bane of his existence almost every shockwave. 